Krishna Damodara. Welcome to the class. Hare Krishna Damodara, welcome to the class. This is Sundari Gopika Devidasi. I will be with you for this class. We will miss our dear Sangeeta Mataji's soothing voice and class today. We pray that she comes back and join us again. Let's begin by chanting Mangla Charan together. Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshuran Mitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Vena Maha Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Peshtaya Bhutale Sri Mateva Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavati Ashtatya Deshatarine Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Vasadi Gaurabhatta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare yeah, I hear a lot of noise in the background. Please mute your phone. There's a lot of noise. Thank you very much. So we'll start by chanting Maha Mantra. Uh, and can I ask the youngest group members to chant Maha Mantra today for me? Like two years old and three years old. Anybody who is two and want to sing, want to chant? Sure. Sure, Vrinda. Thank you very much. Anybody who is three years old? Raghav wants to sing. He's two years old. Sure, Mataji. Please, Raghav, go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Wow, so sweet. Sweet like a sugar candy. <laughs> Anybody who is three years old and want to sing? <laughs> All right. Anybody who is four and wants to sing? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Amazing. Who is this? Raina. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Anybody else? Four years old. Yes, sure, Pranav, go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, 
Very nice. Very nice. Next, five years old. Me, Janavi. Sure, Janavi. Go ahead. We are done, right? I think we all sang. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's move on to the story part. Hmm. And we have an interesting story about a bird. Do you all like birds? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's read this story. It's actually a very poetically written story. Let's read it. There lives an old lady in London who has a songbird in a cage. She says she loves it very much. It's just that she's saying and not for real. Her dear little bird in a cage. The bird is happily chirping. Chirp, chirp. It seems contented and bright. The song it sings is enchanting, enchanting. Enchanting means charming and attractive. To hear it is such a delight. And the lady is pleased with her bird. But just because it is active, she never thinks she is singing along with a poor imprisoned captive. Beautiful. Nor does she understand it needs. The care of the cage comes first. She polishes mad all day long while the bird feels hunger and thirst. The cage nearly blinds her with glitter and shine. But as for the poor bird inside, she never notices how it has changed for the cage is her glory and pride. A week goes by without water or food till the voice once singing so clear gets weaker and weaker day by day. Oh, the bird is fading, I fear. So you see, there's a, this talks about a lady who thinks that she's taking care of a bird in the cage, right? But she, but her main focus is the cage. 
right? And the bird is getting weaker day by day. He gasps and chirps so faintly and twitches his little wings. He dreams of swinging high in the air. To the last bit of life he still clings. Okay. Okay. The dear lady keeps polishing till she is sweaty and red with endeavor. But you and I both know, of course, she's insane and not at all clever. Why she's not clever? She's not clever because she's spending her time in polishing the cage and not taking care of the bird. The tragic day turns into weeks. For a month, the bird isn't fed. And yet the old lady is astonished when at last it lies cold and dead. Is this what I get for trying so hard? Now the bird is dead. You see? She was all the time what she was doing was she had this beautiful songbird and she, she thought that she'll take care of, she's taking care of the bird. But all the time what she was doing was just polishing the cage. Is that what I get for trying so hard? She thinks that she's trying hard. The cage is shown like a jewel. I cleaned it to keep birdie cheerful. Oh, why is fate being so cruel? She thinks if she curses and tears at her hair, that the bird will soon be restored. But oh, what a pity. It's far too late. She's lost the bird she adored. For the soul of the bird has already left. The body, the lady will mourn. Not knowing he, soul of the bird, has entered a new body to be reborn. So it talks about how when the soul of the bird leaves its body, it's going to take another body. And she, this lady, is still mourning for the death of the bird. Okay, which is not the real self. Okay, let's move further. Okay. 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 Yes, the soul is alive in everyone's heart. And the body needs it as a guide. Just as a car needs a diver before it can go for a ride. So, as you have learned in earlier classes that what is real self? The real self is the soul that lives inside us in everyone's heart. Correct? And this soul is pretty small. It's like thousand times of the tip of the hair. Very, very small, but it's very effulgent. It shines more than the thousand suns, right? And, but body, what is the use of the soul? Body needed as a guide. Like, like in the car, we need a driver to take the direction, to, to take us to the correct path, correct? Similarly, okay. I think we are on the 8th slide. So similarly, uh, this, um, this soul in our body is there as a driver. So if you think you only need to take care of body, you are wrong. Right? You should take care of body, but that's not the only thing you should do. Keep thinking and you will realize that it won't be enough for long. For the soul must not be neglected. And here's his favorite dish. The names and pastimes of Krishna will satisfy every soul's wish. Let's feed our soul and everyone's else. The best 
Sunday feast ever tasted, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, the sounds that are never wasted. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And if you meet someone like the old lady, you can share your knowledge so sweet. Tell them about the body and soul to make both your lives complete. It's a beautiful poetic uh, description of uh, the soul and the body. This lady seems to be very much engaged in decorating the cage. Like an ignorant person who spends so much time, right? What, what he does? He just decorates the body by by uh, buying good clothes, jewelry, shoes, ties, expensive watches and so many things. But what is he, she and we are doing? We are just polishing this dead body. Okay? And not giving food to the bird. The bird, that is the soul, that is the real self, that is the real us. And what will happen to the soul if we don't feed the soul? It will become unhappy, it will be weak. Right? So, we have to nourish the soul. How can we nourish the soul? Anybody in the class? Yes, honey ball. What else can we do? What else can we do to nourish the soul? Anybody in the class? Yes, offer food to Krishna. Yes, we read. We read Krishna book and we chant. Okay. So let's move to the question part. What did the lady forget when she took care of the bird? What did she forget? Feed the bird. Yeah, to feed the bird. Feed the bird. Very good. She forget to feed the bird. Why did? Why do you think she forget to feed the bird? The cage was very shiny, right? She couldn't see the bird. When is a living being proclaimed to be dead? When do you think a living being is dead? When the soul leaves the body. Very good. Who is this? Pralad. Wow, Pralad. Good. How do we nourish or take care of ourselves? How do we nourish? Anybody else? How do we nourish or take care of ourselves? By chanting Hare Krishna. Who is this? Prahlad. Okay. Who? Anybody else? By chanting Hare Krishna. By Who is this? Hare Krishna. By chanting Hare Krishna. Okay. How about taking care of your body? You don't want to keep it clean? Yes, you want to keep the body clean as well, right? Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Hari Hari balls. So nice answers. Uh, thank you for listening very patiently and not making any noise. And, you know, thank you very much. So let's move on to the shloka part. We welcome Anjana Gopika Mataji. By chanting Hari Bol. Thank you, Mataji. Hari Bol. Teaching. Hari Bol. Yeah, Hari Bol. We, we learn uh, this sloka and also you all can repeat. I mean, uh, after I say, I will say you can repeat the sloka. Hare Krishna. Mamu Pitya Punajan Ma. Mamu Pitya Punajan 
Okay, thank you everyone. You can still practice and we have a Sunday presentation. You can recite revision sloka also on Sunday. And also you can recite this sloka also on Sunday. Thank you everyone. Mataji, Sunnari Gopika Mataji, please take over the call. I think it's the right time. Uh, let's welcome Saroja Nandini Mataji for teaching us rhyme by saying Hari Hari Bol. Hari Hari Bol. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Bol, all kids. So, uh, I think uh, we are already very familiar with the rhyme. Uh, yesterday, uh, we stopped with the Shubhadra. Is Shubhadra there? Do you want to sing the rhyme, Shubhadra? Okay. So, is there anyone else who would like to sing the rhyme? Yes, Brenda. Yes, Brenda. Go ahead. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Sing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Dance remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Walking in remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Praying in remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Talking in remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Thank you, Vrinda. Very nice, very beautiful singing. Anybody else who would like to recite, uh, sing the rhyme? Chitra Laika. Okay, Chitra Laika. Okay, Chitra Laika. Okay, Chitra Laika. Yes, Chitra Laika will sing first and then Gadi. I will remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Krishna, Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo, singing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo, dancing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo, walking remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo, praying remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo, I'm talking remember Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bolo. 
Hari Hari Bola Always remember Krishna Never forget Krishna Hari Hari Bola Hari Hari Bola Thank you Mataji Thank you Chitralekha Garima you can go ahead and sing Thank you Mataji Always remember Krishna Never forget Krishna Hari Hari Bola Hari Hari Bola Can you remember Krishna? Now we forget Krishna Hari Hari Bola Hari Hari Bola Don't you remember Krishna? Now we forget Krishna Hari Hari Bola Hari Hari Bola Walk you remember Krishna Never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bola, Hari Hari Bola. Sing remember Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bola, Hari Hari Bola. Talking remember Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bola. Hari Hari Bala, all of the number of Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bala, Hari Hari Bala. Thank you, Garima. Very nice. Please, me, Prala. Me, Janavi. Okay, Prala. Always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Hari Hari Bala. Hari Hari Bolo Singing Remember Krishna Never forget Krishna Hari Hari Bolo Hari Hari Bolo Singing Remember Krishna Never forget Krishna Hari Hari Bolo Hari Hari Bolo Walking Remember Krishna Never forget Krishna Hari Hari Bolo Hari Hari Bolo Singing Remember Krishna Never forget Krishna Talking to me, Krishna, never forget Krishna, Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Hari Hari Bolo, Hari Hari Bolo. Thank you, Prasad. Yes, Janavi, go ahead and sing. Very beautiful singing. Is there anybody else who would like to sing this rhyme? Okay. Thank you all very much. Thank you, kids. Please send your recording. And uh, thank you for singing so beautifully and uh, cooperating. Mataji, you can take over. Hare Krishna. So, Devi Mataji, you can take over. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Hare Krishna Mataji, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for singing and teaching them so nicely. Uh, let's, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, let's 
do our Vaishnava pranam to all the Damodar Vaishnavas and all the Vaishnavis, Matajis by uh, chanting the Vaishnava pranam, yes. Vanchya Kalpa Lohacha Kripa Sintu Vaivacha Patika Namavani Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namo Namaha Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.